are working on a starter for 2004 Mercury four-stroke motor safety first so make sure you disconnect the battery so that, that there's no power going to this starter always disconnect the battery first we got bolts to remove this starter we got three main bolts two up here and then one down here and then we got this main power bolt that needs to come off as well and then we also have a wire that needs to come off in this fuse panel side is basically had these little push tabs one on the bottom one on the top and that will release the uh, These bolts are 12 millimeter, and this one here is 13 millimeter. All right, so we've disconnected the main power from the bottom here. And there's another bolt underneath this little piece that we also need to disconnect to get these wires off. So these two wires come out. And then we're gonna loosen the main three bolts. And then we have another wire that goes back here that is brown. So there's this brown wire that's coming out. We're gonna have to remove this little rubber boot off of that, push it down, off, and then this and bolt. we're going to move that bolt and disconnect this wire. This one is a 10 millimeter bolt. Okay, release that bolt. And then also take this boot off and put it on. Make sure you put this boot on the other one that you're putting it on. Alright, so we got this brown wire disconnected. And then we got these two main wires underneath connected and then we're going to be releasing these three bolts holding the uh, starter. This is the new starter. I think it's made in China. Ordered through Amazon. So we got an old one on the left and the new one on the right. They look with identical. This one has got a different model number than this one, but we'll see. Okay, we got some electrical grease, and we're gonna use that to add to these uh, little bolts and nuts and all the contacts. Look here, there. Make sure you feed this long wire that's coming out of the bottom through this hole so we can get that thing hooked up to where it needs to go. I think it's supposed to go right through there. All right, so we've got our two wires back on the bottom of this starter and we also have that black wire that used to be brown on the other one now it's black and then they got the rubber boot protective boot on and then we're gonna put this back on the spot right there where it's supposed to go this little piece that goes on the bottom 
right there. And we need to make sure that this thing goes in correctly. It's uh, like a flat, round, and then you got some octagon shape or something. Hexagon. Anyway, make sure we put this on right. The one with the open space goes to the bottom and then the kind of has a groove on the side here that needs to go to the top. All right, so we've got all the bolts on, tightened. You don't want to over tighten these, probably not too hard because most likely they're aluminum or something, aluminum block. Anyway, all the bolts are in, the power bolt is back on. Oh, there's something else we need to make sure. There's a little cover that comes on the bottom. And that needs to be put back on there. And I think I'm going to have to do that with this power cable off first and then put this cap underneath that um, bolt where those two wires are connected to. Just a little cap. Okay, so double check make sure everything's secure three bolts are in these two wires are on and the little cap is on the bottom and then also this black cable that used to be brown now it's black mounted secure and the boot cover is on and I think that's about all we have to do with the wiring Next thing we're going to do is put our fuse cover back on and then we'll test it out to see if it works. Everything seems to be working like it should, so until our next adventure, hit that like button, comment and subscribe to the channel.